we return to the adventures of the mighty queen, Womansa Musa, the scholar, the blood mother, the hopefully religion reformer, whatever the hell you want to call her of Venice. Thank you for the past couple of days where uh, I, I had to go away, obviously, in a hurry. So uh, we should be back to regular schedule now, and hopefully things will be a bit smoother this time too, because I don't have to produce... 16 episodes in a fucking day. So, first things first then. Uh, let's spend the Dynasty Legacy. No, we didn't want to do that because I was going to potentially get Resilient Bloodline. Um, I suppose we could do that. Or we could go into Treasured Knowledge, depending on how we want to do the lifestyle. Anyway, uh, I think we were kind of on the cusp of reforming the religion, weren't we? So let's blitz ahead a little bit with with time and just build up a bit more piety. I think what I said was that we would wait until our character was quite literally on death's door to make a new branch of Christianity. Because we can just do that whenever, right? Yeah. Um, and we have a shitload of doctrines, so we might as well pick the best, most expensive, non-conflicting, useful doctrines for our new religion of the mighty dollar. So... Let's just, let's just kick around for a bit. Let's just kick around and do whatever the hell we can to ensure that our party is as high as possible, whilst also keeping Venice as mighty as possible. Hello, big hat man. I'm going to seek some indulgences from you, brother, so I can ruin your religion a bit quicker. <laughs> we're also only one perk away. Well, I say one perk. We're like 150, 130 lifestyle experience from being able to unlock Theologian, speak of the devil, or don't actually anymore because we're a Theologian, thank you. I might actually stick with it and go into... Actually, I don't know. What was her education again? She was stewardship, right? Is there much point going into Avaricious or Architect when we've already got more gold than we could possibly spend? I mean, we could go into Intrigue, but I don't really see the point of that when we've got enough money to make whatever we want happen anyway. There could be an argument for Medicine Focus going whole of body to get the health bonus, so I think I'm probably just going to flip over but stay within the Scholarship Focus. Bearing in mind... Anything we do, we're going to be skilled at because we've got genius. So we could just kind of sit around within that tree and uh, and just sort of wait and see how things go. Only another 50, uh, now 40, renowned before we can pick our next... We could pick any of them. Of course, we don't have to pick one of the tier 3 ones, but we might as well go for one of the tier 3 ones. Um, let's confront her in person. And then, I do forgive, if you let the people know of my generosity, we get direct vassal opinion and what was that, the other one? Realm something something? Realm laws are 10% cheaper. Oh? Okay. Um, we can't really do much with that. We could go absolute crown authority. Um, obviously, succession is confederate partition. We could actually flip over to high partition. Just in case we happen to expand out, that probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, then we've got high partition and elective. That's arguably the best ever combination we could ever go for, right? More than happy to go for that, then fine. Um, plus 20 opinion with our direct... Oh, a direct vassal opinion is plus 5 for that one, I suppose, because again, we're on partition, right? And then player air opinion plus 15. Um, so potentially losing opinion with our other kids there doesn't really matter too much. Our vassals approve it. Let's also go absolute crown authority. Sod it. I very rarely mess around with the laws in this game, so we might as well go all in. Male preference, I think, would be better going equal if we can pull that off. Um, if we're allowed to do that, that is, just so that we can... Let's go equal. Yeah, so because we're Catholic, we can't do that. We'll do that at some stage. Why not have double the pool of kids to pick from here? Seeing as, you know, seeing as we are, are basically open elective, freely elective here. Um, oh, we're still not quite bollocks. <laughs> a little bit too early, but we're good. Right, so we've got resilient bloodline. So, minus 30 on... Congenital traits, bad congenital traits, and minus 30 on new bad congenital traits, just randomly... Uh, realistically, the only reason I want to go forward is so that we can get architect and ancestry. Um, octogenarians isn't bad either. Life expectancy plus five take us up to... I mean, octogenarian obviously means 80. Uh, but I, I very much doubt... I don't know if I like the idea of just plus five life expectancy. Doesn't seem that potent. You don't necessarily want to live, especially with uh, elective succession, you don't necessarily want to live forever. Um, constant care... Spouse Opinion, Dynasty, I mean, that's not bad. I don't think that's very good either. Increased Skills with Age could be very good. Um, righteousness is insane, but we'd have to spend another 10,000 points to get there. 11,000 points, sorry, to get there. No, sorry, 12,000 points to get there. Uh, clergy Opinion and that one. That one's really good, but again, takes too bloody long to get there as far as I'm concerned. Um, architect and Ancestry is just arguably the best Dynasty Legacy possible. Ominous Reputation, Dread Gain, Scheme Chance, Life Intrigue Experience is okay. Um, Venial Tyranny, minus 0 0.5. Uh, 
No, I don't really like that either. Control growth is is absolutely fantastic if you're playing something like Tribal. But in this situation, maybe not so relevant. Stewardship lifestyle experience when we're in Venice, plus 10%. Hey, maybe not too bad. Um, domain limit plus one is absolutely pointless. Private army, maximum of run... That's not bad. Group house guard is... Men at arms regiments, which are just like really good heavy infantry, aren't they? Um, heritage tactics, squire traditions. I don't know that any of these are anything I particularly want to go for outside. I mean, architects ancestry. Until we get that, I don't think I want to go for literally anything else on the dynasty, dynasty legacy front. To be honest with you, and another genius, handsome, hale kid. Um, like, surely we got like a random ancestor here who we could, we could. Come on, there's got to be one here somewhere. Uh, where are all my names that I put in the system, huh? They're all gone. No Jeeves Stobbs, no Steve Job. Nothing. Uh, okay, 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 fine. We, we did kind of flip tactic a little bit to historical rich people, hence why we're one man Samusa, which I'm still more than proud of. <laughs> um, who else was rich in history? Uh... Oh, shit, that's a hard one. There was that Italian guy. There was quite a few Italian guys. Um, you know, there's that one Dutch fella who was famous for doing a lot of boating. Uh, I'm going to Google it. I don't know who the richest person adjusted for inflation in history would be. I imagine it probably is Mansa Musa, but um, richest, richest person ever. Don't you dare say Jeff Bezos, you son of a bitch. Uh, Genghis Khan, that's a fair one. William the Conqueror? I mean, I guess I can't really argue with that. Gaddafi! <laughs> I can't name this kid Gaddafi, you fool. <laughs> um, I'm going to call him Fugger, after Jacob Fugger. Uh, then I can say, oh, what a little Fugger you are. And my God, it'll be funny at least once. Uh, apparently this guy, 400 billion uh, US dollars adjusted for adjusting for inflation in, in the year of 2020, uh, where we are right now. Um, that's on Wikipedia, anyway, of the wealthiest, wealthiest historical figures. So that I'm going to keep open, and we're going to pull so many really funny names from that, I'm sure. Speaking of which, uh, Jim stops money. So all of our kids, by the way, in this generation are um, genius and handsome minimum. Some of them have hail thrown in as well. Uh, Sun and Ward there, genius, handsome, hail. Good lord, look at his stats. 16 stewardship at the age of 12. I have, I have high hopes for you, especially with us educating him. Genius. Great stewardship. Great learning. Learning actually plays a big... I don't know if I've maybe talked about this last episode. I don't remember anything from the last episode, to be honest with you. Um, but... Oh, wow. We got lots, loads of pokes all at once there. Um, learning plays a, a quite a significant chunk of a kid's education. So, worth remembering. Dual Conquest might not be too bad. Uh, sway Scheme Power also not too terribly here. Befriend, I think, is still the, 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 the safest bet. My domain extors subjects detailed ledgers gives Republican ruler opinion and vassal tax contribution. Um, building construction time and holding construction time is down by 20%. And we haven't got anything else to build besides... Oh, yeah, we, we're completely upgraded, aren't we? We've got the Megalopolis. Uh, we've got all of the fully upgraded buildings and I believe no other upgrades to go in, have we? Yeah, we have completely finished that one. So we'll start heading over to... We'll, we'll stick with Mestra first. Seeing as we start upgrading that one, and then we'll just kind of blob out from there. Um, we control most of kind of northern Italy here, like it's all, all around this area. If we could take like Frulia and Apuila as well, that'd be quite nice. And that would be within our domain limit too. I mean, we could just upgrade all of these. There's no reason not to. Bear in mind, we've got more building slots than we have buildings. Uh, we've got more gold than we could ever spend on a single province at a time. Uh, so honestly, why don't we just go straight for it? It always throws me off, because obviously that's under the, uh, the Knights Templar or whatever the hell we gave it to. Ferrara is a pretty good one. Um, again, no buildings available for that one, so even if we spend all the money we've got, I still think we're gonna have way too- Yeah, we're upgrading every holding we possibly can be upgrading here. Oh, except for Florence. Um, wait, Florence? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, that's not- that's not Florence at all. Il Duomo. What is that? Uh, 1436. We're starting this one fairly early. Uh, holding taxes, development growth, and our realm gain some extra parties too. Sure, why the hell not? Hey, I, I haven't personally seen this, and I'm not even sure it's a mechanic in the game. But they're, obviously in CK2, uh, you have the ability to at high um, prosperity, which I assume, you know, we, we can kind of relate to development there. Uh, you were able to unlock additional holding slots. Now, I don't know if this is the same thing in 
CK3. I've not seen it. I don't know that it actually exists, but it would be a real shame if we actually couldn't upgrade Venice any further. Um, he says with every single holding slot with an upgraded wonder fully. But you kind of get what I'm saying. Like, as a capital, we're missing out a lot of potential just via the medium of not having those bonuses. Like, for example, Constantinople upgraded would be far better than Venice could ever be. No, it wouldn't, because that's only got one holding slot. Whereas with the metropolises, don't remind me, Rome? Rome was there? Uh, yeah, right, so Rome, if we were to do the same thing there, that's got six holding slots, and it has the ability to get all of the wonders as well. And it's got the Colosseum, which I'd argue is probably better than the Doge's Palace. Um, and it's got a duchy building too. Do we have that in, what is it in Venice? It's the tax office, right? Magistrate's Court, we can swap that out, but... Yeah, I mean, that Rome would be a better capital. We could always flip Rome into our capital and try and do the same as what we've done with Venice there. That would be pretty insane. Development's quite high as well. Oh, shit. Do no more than what is necessary. If she dies now before we reform the religion when I've been just stockpiling piety with her, I will be very angry. That's the kind of goals for today is to get our, get our religion kind of ready to go. I should give us a little bit more health. If we can just get down the... Get down this tray a bit more, we should be fine. Come on, surely she's okay. Yeah, excellent. Excellent health, despite the fact that she is, uh, she is apparently ill. You're a paragon of virtue. We're really only a paragon of virtue? Shit, that's a surprise. Okay, when can we let's go on a pilgrimage then? Um, it's got another, like, ten years for that minimum. We'll have a feast. Honestly, why not? We might as well go for the, uh, for the reveler trait. Can I buy some more indulgences? Nope. Two years on that one, too. I, I can't do anything else right now to boost piety. So I suppose what we could do, actually, is if we've got any holdings with temples. Um, I, I mean, to be fair, we could even build temples. Oh my god, that's a great point. There's got a lot of places that we can actually just try to build shit. Um, but I was gonna say we could we could keep upgrading things like that as well. Castle holding, city holding. Verona has no city, so we'll build a city there. Um, then we have quite literally, well and truly, building everything we can everywhere. Famous traveler. Oh, that's really nice. Wow, that's a cool outcome from that. I wasn't expecting it. Obviously, we've got no problems with stress anyway, because we're barely doing anything, but why not? We might as well do everything possible with this character. Um, see if we can even get our hunting trait. We actually did. Wow. She's going to be very hard to top. She might end up being one of our best CK3 characters we've had so far. Um, so, Steve Job, our husband, can educate you, I guess. Um, we'd be better to go for somebody with a... Um, with a higher stewardship, realistically. Oh, what are we training you in? We are training you in stewardship. Yeah, it would be better to go for that, but that's alright. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, besides that, I can't do shit at all. Oh, hello. Um, oh, hello. Shit. Some of these knights are really good. Glad to check that in hindsight. Tiles can be created. So we can make the Kingdom of Italy, but we've already got two Kingdom level tiles, right? Um, and obviously with partition, we've got to be very, very careful about how we handle that. We can seize Latium. If we seize it, can we vassalize the Pope? Costs us 600 piety to declare war on the Pope. But if we're going to reform a religion, that would be quite a, quite a blow to Catholicism, wouldn't it? And I, I, I feel like I could probably just land him and vassalize him. Hopefully. Let's give it a go. Honestly, why not? Obviously, don't raise your troops first, though. Otherwise, that kind of gives the game away, doesn't it? We're not going to declare war. I'm just raising my troops right next to your borders. 24,000 troops the guy's able to pull out of his hat. To be fair, though, it's a fairly large hat. Right, get in there. Potential battle. You will win decisively. Better army commander. High, he's got higher quality troops. Swiss guard. But we do have... Oh! Killed by the Pope! Wow. Shit. That's a bit tragic, huh? Good lord. Um, we can marry we can marry this guy who's a genius. Not that we need any more genius kids, but we might as well churn them out while they're while they're going still good, huh? Let's go for that. Genius. Gene. There it is. Genius. Um, what have you got for me then? Probably a genius with high stewardship would be quite nice. Um Lowborn? Lowborn English Cathar. Just thinking that anybody is is kind of all right at this point. Now we'll marry you. You're noble. Oh, we're also related. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be? It's the Middle Ages, you fool. God damn. 2050. <laughs> um, yikes. We're also writing a book. Do we want to use earwax to write our book? Do we want to use urine for the book? Do we want to grind up colorful stones? Uh, go on then. That's fine. I feel like that's the, uh, you know, in the long term, that's probably going to pay off the most. Shit, they've got a lot of troops, huh? Ah, naked lady! Also, well, I have to be very careful about how we... <laughs> have to be very careful about when we declare and win and lose that war. Otherwise, she's going to be getting me... Getting my channel well and truly clapped. 
once again, I did turn off nakedness, but apparently uh, the game rule doesn't quite apply to everything. Whoa! You can't do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Holy Order's probably somewhat irrelevant. Fuck, there's not even any bloody... Okay, okay, get him. Get them all. Get them all. The Pope probably hired bloody everybody. Okay. That was a bit... A bit of a clappage, wasn't it? Oh, good lord. Oh my god, we're gonna get roasted by the fucking Pope. We're gonna lose here. Okay, well, we're not gonna lose, but we are gonna retreat. We're gonna retreat. We're gonna sit around. I should go for his troops rather than sieging. We learned this lesson in the Mansa... In the... Sorry, Mansa Musa. In the, um... In the, uh... The Dura series, the Mother of All series that we're doing right now. Just sit around. Sit around. Call our house members in. We can call in England. We can call in England. We can call in her. Uh, we can declare war on the Sultan, which I'm not going to be doing. Um, who else we got? Jaffa. Perfect. Oh my god, we've got so many family members, of course, across the world. From where we've won so many different holy wars and stuff. Um, I call in my dynasty member who I'm married to. Ooh, careful. <laughs> uh, is that branch house? Oh no, he's head of house. Uh, yeah, it is a branch house of our dynasty, though. Remember the death of Bernabo. But he hasn't died yet. What are you talking about? You can't make that your house words, you weird man. <laughs> well, that's a bit self-aggrandizing, isn't it? It's basically the Catholic world versus our house. Let's hope it's enough. 11 friggin' notifications, good lord. Um, calling you for the peasant uprising. We can call in you on that one. Sure, why the hell not, honestly? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Call in you. Thank you. We can demand payments. Excellent. Fucking hell. Right. Okay, go away. Thank you. Let's keep an eye on the um, mercenaries. Because we are Venice, after all. So if there's one thing we can hire... Um, hide by you three years left. Hide by you three years left. Yeah, wow. I think we've got everything there, huh? Who has hired all of these people? It must be the Pope. I can't think of anyone else who would have the gold or the need. 17,000 mercenaries. The Pope hired bloody everybody. Okay, fair enough. Well, we've got England and, and kind of family members from across the globe coming to help us out here. And our actual army size will be larger. Um, we've just got to kind of... Just got to kind of... Uh, let our troops... Well, yeah, we've been excommunicated. What a shocker. We've got to let our troops reinforce a little bit. Up to 30,000. Camilla, another genius... Uh, what is that one? It's pretty? Yeah, I was going to say. Daughter. Right, let's pull up my list of wealthy historical figures. Um, we've already got a John D. Rockefeller. Andrew Carnegie. Um, uh, Womandrew. I can't do that for every name. It's the low-hanging hanging fruit. Car... Carnegie? Is it spelled like that? Ah, oh, it's another E. Sorry, my bad. Right, there we are. Welcome, Womandrew Carnegie. <laughs> ah, it's, that's, that's the easy one. I need to come up with some better names, huh? Right, who's our best commander? It's got to be you, right? Fucking hell, you're insane. Um, no, it's really not. Frontline General and Reaver, 42 advantage. Jesus. Okay. Keep an eye on those popal po po troops. Actually, we can bait some out there. Well, that's quite nice. Can we chase those guys before they embark? Wow, they are... That was a tactical misstep from my man, the Pope. Holy shit. Um, they're moving troops up to there. I, I, I think we should probably keep an eye on the peasants, but sort of put them to the back of our mind for the time being. I just want to keep an eye on Venice in case the Pope drops troops over there, because he does have Popes kicking around. Popes? Uh, he does have troops kicking around, but I don't really know what he's planning on doing with them, to be honest with you. 28% Siege of Rome. Here we go. I'm here for another 200 years. I'm actually genuinely so surprised that we are in this much profit. This is this is insane. Um, Embrace celibacy is going to become relevant soon for the, for the kind of bonus piety. John D. Rockefeller came out Midas Touch. Very good. There's an air right there. Uh, better than us, actually, because we're only, uh, we're only fortune builder. Holy shit. A level four. Uh, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. We're almost there. Did you just abandon the siege? No, no, no. Stay there. We're, we've almost got it. We've almost got it. Boom. It's 2%. Take out Tivoli and we're, we're more or less done, right? Oh, we got it. How did we get that? It suddenly ended. Uh, oh, because we just captured Tivoli. Right. Cool. Then that's the, that's the entire war goal. Boom. Game the... Okay, so the, our Holy Order kind of flipped over there. For whatever reason. Holy shit, we've just taken Rome. 
Um, oh, we've, we've actually taken Rome. Man, I mean, like I said, for a capital, that would be a bit more beneficial, wouldn't it? Holy shit. Force the Pope over there. I think if we unland the Pope, we should be able to vassalize him too, right? So we might have to we might have to focus the Pope down for a little while. We should see also if we can get... Uh, oh! That's so annoying. Because now I have to bloody friggin' motion track that woman's boobies as she's on the screen. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's another 15 minutes to my editing. Doesn't take that long. It's okay. Um, right. Sorry. What was I saying before I was distracted? Uh, right. Unline the Pope. So we'll focus him down for a little while. See what we can do there. But I wanted to see if we could, I mean, make a declaration of independence. Uh, yeah. He'll accept us immediately becoming excommunicated, which is phenomenal. That's okay. You took Rome. I'll forgive you because we're mates. And you sent me some gold that one time. No problem, fella. Not a problem at all. <laughs> That's so ridiculous, isn't it? We're never going to ask him. I wish you could, uh, wish you could remove some of these notifications permanently. That'd be quite a nice thing to see. Maybe for future patches, DLCs, whatever. I'll pay money for that. Oh, we can barely build anything here because, of course, it's Italian culture and not Cisalpine. Um, if we convert the culture of Rome, that would work. Um, oh, our son, knight, and friend. Khan and Didlius, Vanderbidlius. Ah, how could I forget? Um, genius. Our niece is genius. We're not some money. This is dangerous. <laughs> this is so dangerous. Okay, fine. Uh, John D. Rockalas. Oh, I made the bloody joke with her as well, you moron. Um, ooh, hello. Martin. He's not even related to us. Matrilineal. Nope, they are related. Inbred. Shit. Uh, fine, done. <laughs> Why not? Look. All this gambling has quite clearly paid off, so we've got to we've got to stick with it. Um, yep, Steve Job, you can go to him, and then G oh, we can we can educate a kid now. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, who do you want to be our successor? That's the real question here. Um, let's go to you. That's probably the quickest way to do it, isn't it? Right. Um, really, we're only looking for characters that are genius. I'll be frank. So I'm going to type in genius into the into the mix. Um, I'm also going to look for characters who are not ancient. This woman. Incredibly old. I want a character that wasn't there when the pyramids were open for business. I mean, I think I've got to go John D. Rockalas. Uh, the fact that she's Midas Touch, just patient, temperate, hale, pretty, genius. How could I not? 26 stewardship. 26 stewardship and she's just... I mean, oh, she's only just 16. She puts us to shame. We've got 24 stewardship and a lifetime of experience behind us. Good God. Oh, and there it is. I was hoping we'd be able to catch this. Look, 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 look. Boom. A hundred development. No fireworks or anything, huh? That's it. And uh, you have the most developed holding in the realm. No, no fireworks or special effects or any shit like that. Well, to be fair, I did say we wanted to promote culture. So we'll start promoting culture in Rome instead. That was like perfect timing. Oh, for God's sake. For the Kingdom of Castile again. I'm pretty sure this is the second time we've done this. Um, we'll give it a go. Why the hell not? Right, let's get you out of here. That's what we picked up here. Another lifestyle perk. Fantastic. Wow, we are... I think this character is going to be ancient. I think we are genuinely today going to be able to build the most OP religion possible. Um, a Sun Knight and Friend on Stewardship. Yeah, please do. Wait, was that my... Why can't we put you on the... Because because of lack of equality. Who did we lose as a steward is probably the better question. I'm not entirely sure. Um, beneficiary. I think we'll go for... What do you think about Massalin Jars? I suppose we could go for Ingletrude. She's she's got the she's got the know-how. Um a half sister. Half sister and she's 70? How old are we? Good lord, that's a hell of an age gap, huh? Oh, we've got to go for her. Oh, she deserves it. Genius and Amazonian? Yeah, a hundred percent. Boom, there you go. Um I would prefer would I prefer money? Grant the rights to the largest of the war chest shared upon victory. I mean I like the piety, sure, but I mean it's not gonna be that much, is it? I think at this point, it would be better for us to spread the dynasty as far as possible. Oh, that's why they're Cathar. Um, it'd be better to spread the dynasty as far as possible. Can I donate some money? I can spare a few co coins. No, no, no. I want to... We gain 776. Oh. Shit. This could be really, really profitable. Oh, you can't donate twice. I was going to say, we could just keep donating and crank up our piety massively, but unfortunately, we don't quite have that luxury. That's a shame. I'm going to raise my troops kind of preemptively and just get over to Castile and just kind of get ready to launch on the war goal. Their capital's over there, so we'll go from the northern coast around. How long have we got? 
eight days. Right, that gives us a, a pretty good advantage because the air won't start moving automatically, will they? Not to be able to worry about stress, so that boat's bloody pointless. There's vault. Ah, oh, shit, I should have... Damn it. I meant to... Did that tiny child just give us 300 gold? I meant to actually, you know, obviously arrange that patrol with them, but uh, just clicking too fast. How now does it cost us money, brown cow? What are you talking about? Oh, because they're in bars. Right, got it, got it, got it. Um, Sebastino, I require your assistance, and I will take your tasty, tasty lifestyle points. Thank you. Hey, get out of here. This is my war. You back the fuck off. Look over the capital. Right, here we go. Or not. Sorry, who are we at war for? Oh, it's a crusade for Castile, not against Castile, but in fact against these random Cathar people kicking around here. Okay, that makes things a little bit different. Oh, they've got a lot of troops. Shit, careful. Um, which one is the capital holding? Oh, it is that one. Right, got it. Should really pick off some of these armies wherever possible. My husband died again. What the hell is wrong with these people? Stop dying, old man. Right, let's see if we can kill all those boys off. Just kind of throw yourself in there. See what we can, see what we can do. Uh, might get a li learning lifestyle work. That's pretty good. Um, we could. Can we put our daughter? I assume because we don't have the quality yet that we can't even put our daughter to. Oh, there we are. Get another one. Oh, shit, that'd be good. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Two lifestyle perks. Um, obviously that one, and then healthy as well. Don't want to get too distracted here by... Don't want to get too distracted chasing around armies when we could be just nailing the war score. Getting some of these counties down. Um, comes our friend? Yeah, sure, why not? There we are. 66%. Now, can we, can we do anything with our army commanders? Um, we can lead it and gain... Crusader, if the game will let us, um, at which point we'd be able to get ourselves a little bit more piety too, but I don't think the game's actually going to wake up and give us the fucking thing, is it? Balls, that's a shame. What if we get into battle? Surely that counts as doing a bit of crusading, huh? Mastermind philosopher, Jeevan stops there. Man, if we need a backup to uh, do the religion, that would work. All right, here we go. Still no crusader trait. Sorry, am I in the wrong place? Maybe I don't know where Castile is in hindsight. Maybe I'm horribly confused. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty. This looks pretty good to me. Maybe it's because we weren't there from the start. Maybe it's because we kind of swapped out. Now things are safe because they've got a lot of anti-scumming features with uh with crusades. Now maybe it's because they haven't got so many troops left. Or I really don't know. Sucks either way. Oh man, we need to get in there. Yes, yes, we gain a level of dedication to our faith. Excellent. Hey, there we are. Right. Um. Thorborg, who? Oh, rubbish. Uh, Grand Thorborg, victory of the crusade for Castile after Queen, Queen Dagmar. The heathen warriors. Oh, maybe Castile was... Maybe Castile actually was Cathar, but she just didn't bother. Oh, we were pressing it for her. I was going to say maybe she didn't bother joining the war. That was a bit pointless, wasn't it? Uh, what did we get out of that? Hang on. Um, uh, this guy. Yes. Whoever you are. Excellent. And then... Who, who are you? Must be some relative of ours. Yeah, Contarini. Um, whoever this guy is. He's some distant relative anyway. Great. Okay, that wasn't my beneficiary, but that's alright. Um, Eleonora. What did she get? Benevente. I didn't put my life on the line to give her a county. That's not right. That's not right, Pope. I feel like he's getting a bit of revenge for the fact that we took Rome, which is probably reasonable in hindsight. Um, oh, fuck. Now we're going to have to walk the bloody armies back, too. All right. Peasant revolt was dealt with. Let's go ahead and tidy up some of this utter crap that we've got going on absolutely everywhere. Whole of body. How's our health looking now? Good. Really good? Down from excellent, even though we, I guess, because we're aging, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. We'll go ahead and marry you. Thank you. Uh, we've got 9,000 piety. That's got to be enough to reform the religion, right? We can consecrate the bloodline. Oh. Hey, there we go. We gain phones renown. Catholicism's further increases and we gain paragon. That's probably good that we did that before we flip religion then. So I believe you can't do that if you're not Catholic, right? Religious vassal, vassal opinion plus 20. Now that gives us the, is it bloodline? Strong blood? Ardent dynasty. Oh, I thought it gave us an actual bloodline perk, but no, it just gives us paragon, which is a bit boring. Um, oh, consecrated blood. There we are. Oh, that's quite good. Okay, fair enough. If the Pope Rome. <laughs> good one, game. Not gonna happen. 
Right, so let's take a look then, finally, at Reformation. Give me one of those. Create new Christian faith. Let's see with the most expensive doctrines. I mean, how many doctrines are there? Ten. What is it? Okay, okay. Let's start down here first. Equal, obviously. Fundamentalist, obviously. Lay clergy is good. We want to go temporal. So if we go temporal for life. Clerical mar marriage allowed. Sure, fuck it. Why not? Clerical gender. Only, uh, let's go either. Uh, function gives control growth. Oh, sorry. Control gives control growth. Um, harms of pacification. Domain tax is minus 5%. No, no, no. We're not about that. So we're going to stick with that one. This, this is the this is the religion of money, don't forget. Um, we want to allow... No, no, no. We don't. We want to make everything criminal where possible. Um, so that we can imprison people and blackmail for more reasons and ransom them out for more reasons. Does mean we have to be a little bit careful. Criminal. I'm sorry. We're not a very open realm. Um, we could go on restricted marriage rather than close kin taboo. I mean... Yeah, close kin taboo would make the most sense because then, of course, we can chuck them in prison, whatever else. But I think we're going to go unrestricted so that we can keep our glorious bloodline consecrated. It's all going to a head a little bit. The money, the wealth, the power, the consecration of the bloodline. Maybe I am God thinks Womansa Musa, the blood mother. Right, what else have we got here? Uh, Legitimization? We're going to say no bastards. Why the fuck not? Disallowed? Always allowed. And then polygamous? Why not? Either that or consorts and concubines. I think consorts and concubines are a bit more flexible, aren't they? So 1,000 and 1,606 so far, and then we go temporal. We become the head of faith. We have to create the head of faith, of course, uh, title. Um, we're going to call it the holy money tree. Adjective. M money tree. Uh, single follower. That you are a money tree. In. A money, a money ent. Many followers. That would still be ent. Ent is plural. Description. Uh, lo, and behold, glory to the, the grand money tree. That has to be capitalized because it's a proper noun now. Bringer of wealth and fine blood to the nation of Venice. Wonders abound. Uh... Verily, verily thus given to us by the glorious blood mother, gold, <laughs> and also bitches, and bros, because we're equal, so bitches and bros, you can't, oh, we need like a derogatory, bitches and, is that like an equivalent derogatory term for men, bitches and, you know what, ladies. And gentlemen, we're equal. We're an equal ram. Excellent. Right. Okay. Arm pilgrimages. Big fan of that. Communion. Am I a big fan of that? Honest to virtue, deceitful of sin. Uh, gold in exchange for piety. They can ask us for that. We're head of faith. Big fan of that. Take the vows, become a month. Whatever. Don't really care. Right. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Warmonger. Absolutely. Yes, I am. Um, polyamory. Uh, oh, right. That's, that's, of course, criminal in our new realm. Um, fuck it. And fuck it. Why not? Okay, can we... Let's just go for everything and see where we end up. Um, we can't have everything, I don't believe. I just want to see, ideally, what sort of cost we're looking if we throw everything into the mix. Now, a lot of these we really don't want. A lot of these are complete shit. Yeah, they absolutely are. Um, how many more does it leave on the table? Bloody loads. Right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to redesign it, and then I will show you the, the labors of, of my work. I had to... Go on a pilgrimage. Uh, a little bit of time ticked here. I designed it, and then it was like, oh, 400 piety short. And now I've redone it, and now we can afford it, but it's cheaper, and I don't know why. Um, I think I've fucked something up. I think I've messed up some of the... I'm not entirely sure what, though. Um, Soterricism is pretty good. Can't like exaltation, though, for the 25% for the fertility I'm a big fan of. Um, I don't know what's different, but apparently I've done something different this time. Um, which has made things cheaper uh whatever anyway it's fine everything's good it's so got the holy money tree we've got heavy on the war so warmonger uh we've got i'm running to faith struggle and submission religious war pursuit of power we've got uh kind of fertility based things we've got like divine marriage for example kind of like exaltation gives us 25 percent fertility bonus we've got sacred childbirth for the 10 percent extra fertility there um 
Obviously, Auspicious Birthright is pretty good for inheritance as well. Medic and Preachers plus uh, Armed Pilgrimages means that whenever we go on a pilgrimage, we get some big bonuses out of that. Ritual Celebrations plus Carnal Exaltation. Uh, oh, no, it's Ritual Celebrations plus another one I think we don't have. Um, either way, obviously quite nice, seeing as that's been our main kind of go-to thing for stress relief. I think we're there. I think that's it. Um, I don't know why I've clicked here, but I didn't mean to click it. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'll swap that one back to Medic and Preachers. 7,000 Piety. There it is. Should we do it? I think we've got to do it. Boom. And... Boom. The ultimate religion, my friends. All the doctrines mankind could ever want. Chaste, gluttonous, deceitful, content, arbitrary, sadistic, and vengeful are all sins. Our virtues are lustful, temperate, honest, ambitious, just, compassionate, forgiving, astute intellectual, possessed, scholar and miracle worker what a what a religion we need to control uh what do we need to control for this oh god did i not put on temporal for life lay clergy fundamentalist why can't i create a head of faith title oh right there we are fucking thing um two holy sites so we've got rome we've got rome we could just grab jerusalem or something like that couldn't we and basically hit the ground running um Jerusalem is currently independent from the Byzantines as well. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, my God. Then we can make ourselves. How is that too far away to interact with? What the hell are you talking about? We can make ourselves head of faith. Oh, man. That would be gigantic. Oh, apparently, we can't get over there, though. Um, Castile, we definitely can. Uh, Santiago, right? We could fabricate a claim and just swing at them for. For that, 13,000. Inferior to ours. What, what are we looking at right now on the troop count? 50,000. We could go for that. Uh, bear in mind, the HRE is nicely splintered as well. That would be a bit more convenient to get to. Um, God, this is a difficult one. Kent is still under... In fact, I mean, uh, England, as far as I recall, is... Oh, it's not ours. We did set up Catholic England, but God knows what's happened there. Uh, I think we'll go for the HRE then for our holy set. What do you think? Quickly grab Colne and then... And then we've got everything we could ever want. Do it. Bring them down. Catholic clergy have lost their way and can no longer be trusted to guide us. To remedy this, I've gathered a select group of priests to discuss our future in our faith. Impassioned priests are talking about launching crusades to spread their new faith across the world. Holy Ents eagerly await the prophesied arrival of their Pope, a great leader who will rally all of the faithful behind them and usher in a new holy monetary golden age. We wait. We wait to become Pope. And we're home from the other pilgrimage where we, where we had our revelation about our new religion. We can make a holy order, right? Um, so I assume we've lost the... You can get out. You're the wrong religion, my friend. Uh, let's go found a holy order. I want to give them Chogia, seeing as that one was already a holy order site. There we are. Boom. Our first ever holy order. The Teutonic order. I'm not sure that's entirely right. <laughs> Never mind. Um, there he is. The pretentious, callous, stubborn man. Couldn't think of a better, better leader of our holy order there. What do we got? Seek the aid of the spirits. Sure. Fucking why not? Uh, grand offering. Make me strong. Rock Spirit's Pressing gives us learning and stress gain. Fine, I'll take it. My god, we've got some weird shit going on here. Um, so we can't take celibacy because we have a trait from the Revelers group. And also it would be sinful for our religion to do such a thing. So of course we will not. The only downside to this now is that we will have to remarry, I think, some of our family members off. I'd probably stick with that anyway because that's obviously quite a nice comment. What the hell happened to you? Murderer! I did not murder him. What are you doing? It needs to get to work pretty much as soon as possible now with, with conversion rights. So the second uh, she's done fabricating her claim there, we've only got four months left on that, and then we've got ourselves a holy site. We'll start work on religious conversion. The holy money tree gr did grab a lot of Italy there, which is quite nice to see. Um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. What are we doing? Our son, Jeevan Stobbs, Dr. Doom himself, can be... Uh, a much better court chaplain there. And of course, court chaplains can be married off with our new mighty religion. Let's get you converting faith in Rome immediately. But the Pope will fucking love that one, brother. I think the HRE needs to go down the shitter. Uh, my claims, please. Thank you. Inferior, you got damn right. Kinds of sin up. All right, let's throw a rally point just basically wherever. Raise all, and let's get in there. Oh my god. The speed at which we... 
The speed at which we can siege is, is disgusting. All right, let's move on. Oh, we still took attrition either way. I guess that was just, what was that, like a temple? Oh, we burned down a city. Wow, that's something to be proud of. Basically cutting a swath up to up to his capital. Seems the easiest way to go about things, right? Um, oh, I want to be a witch. Yeah, let's do it. Summons of the Horned God. Legendary Reveler. Oh, that's cool. That's quite a difficult one to, to get, right? Um, what the hell is it? Legendary. Oh, there it is. Legendary Reveler. Diplomacy plus four. God, it's so easy to pick those. I know it says it's quite difficult to get, but that's only because we've done it for that long. Um, you know, it's only because we've stopped really with it our entire life. All you have to do is press a button to get it. It was quite difficult to get Carouser, say, for example, in CK2. You basically had to really stick to a focus your entire lifetime to pick that up. But this is a decision, obviously, available to all characters, so it really doesn't matter so much. Um, I'm keeping the... I'm obviously keeping the Dynasty there as well. Um, the Dynasty Legacy so that we can save up for... Architect in Ancestry. Go for it. Might as well throw Genius into the family for all the other family members too. And we'll start sieging up towards the war goal. This is capital gone. Thank you. Goodness, what the hell that flashing was then? Good God. I think I'm blind. My poor eyes. War were declared. Who? Uh, what? A vassal of the Byzantine Empire. They're actually very, very powerful. Fuck. Um, can we finish off this war with the HRE? Before we get too distracted. What are you actually after? Here. Into your Fermo. Oh, not a big fan of that one. Oh, no, he's not. He's after the whole bloody thing. Um, that's a bit of a pain in the ass, isn't it? Wow. Sorry, how many troops did you... Uh, the Duke of here has that many troops. That said 30,000 troops, did it not? Oh, Cyprus is coming in and Ruthenia. To be fair, if we counter... If we can get in there and take his capital super fast, might not be a problem. Um, let's create a new man at arms regiment. Bombards. And we've got cultural retinues as well. Uh, we need to rebuild the army, basically, at that point. Uh, raise all the armies. Let's get some... Let's get some bands together, then. It's going to start getting quite expensive, but honestly, why not? Right, there we are. Right, you guys are the... Let's go clap his cheeks pretty fast before he does any damage to my actual realm troops. How are we looking up here? We've counted some of the stuff, but we should still have this in no time. 94%. 96%. Boom. That'll do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodbye. Okay, I believe we can now make a Head of Faith title, right? We can. Current Head of Faith. Me. No, don't put the nun hat on. Pope Woman Samusa. <laughs> oh, um, I call it a Pope hat. I meant a nun hat because I want a Pope hat. Uh, give, me a, give me a Pope hat. We're not wearing this goddamn... Okay, let me, let me find something here. Oh, I like the cone. Um, so, uh, that's not bad. Right, it's crown. Uh, it doesn't really fit, though, does it? Are we not allowed to wear a Pope hat? That's absurd. Really? <laughs> okay, I like that one. Done. There we go. Much better. That's more appropriate headwear. Wow. So we're now head of a uh, Christian faith, something that was, of course, impossible in, in CK2. That's quite fun. Well, not impossible, but, um, you know, fairly fairly restricted in that regard. What happened to our troops? Ah, there they are. Uh, about to get thoroughly clapped. Glory to God. Well, man, Samusa declared Pope through the righteousness of our faith has never been, though the righteousness of our faith has never been doubt, never in doubt. The period of time we have been forced to enjoy with that spiritual leader has been trying. At long last, this ordeal is over. I finally convinced the clergy to accept me as the one true Pope. With the faithful finally united, unified beneath me, I will lead the holy money train to a new golden age. Glory to God. 50 further. We didn't need 50 further, but that's okay. We're going to bounce. Uh, let our troops come together before we... Before we fight these guys. Because they've got a lot of troops. We can pick them apart as long as we're careful about things. Oh, Catholic uprisings. This is chaos. I don't know who I'm fighting. Uh, these guys apparently. Well, that was pretty good. Um, it's going to counter siege this. Oh, this is pure chaos. This is pure chaos. We need to stop these Catholics before it gets out of hand. Let's head up here. Just kill them along the way. There we are. There we are. There we are. 50% already. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Just give me a second. Good lord. Right. If we take this person out. Hey, wow. A paragon of unyielding asceticism, Count Francesco, is shown to be a disciplined soul. Look at that. He's the most... It sustains himself with the most frugal meals to show his unwavering commitment to the holy money tree dogma. Wow, what a guy. That's all it took to deal with the Catholics, so that's pretty good. Should shut them up for a little while. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Empty council position. Let's quickly throw a new marshal on there. Perks. Uh, yep, I think we will take Bellum Justum. Thank you for what little is probably worth at this stage of the game. Learn on the job. Sure, why not? 20% of counselor skills added to your own. We've got some fucking powerful counselors. Good lord. 
That's massive, right? <laughs> Oh, yes, it is. 35 diplomacy. Good God. We're actually doing pretty goddamn well with this war. Their allies were the scary part of it. They themselves really have not a leg to stand on. Um, if we just go over and finish them off here, this should be should be more or less done. Take the capital. I think we're all I think we're all good. Top this madness. I am your Pope. <laughs> Brilliant. Wow, what a what a fucking what a twist we put on things, huh? My god. Any second now, we are going to be rolling in cash. Oh my god. Yep. That'll do it. Uh, someone blackmailed us because we're a witch. I don't really care too much about that one. Thank you. Let's get some of these. Oh my god. We have the Kaiser's wife in our prison? Good god. <laughs> ah. Um. Yeah, I think now's a good time to probably leave it there for today. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I think we got a little bit of tidying up to do tomorrow, huh? What a, what a religion. What a realm. We've got to come up with a good endgame goal now. I know I said we could take all the metropolises, and I think that's probably the right play. Take the metropolises and convert them. And then we can have the money tree growing across the world. And then I think the time lapse is going to be the really interesting thing here. See if we can get a successful religion and a successful realm. We've not really tried that before, trying to trying to convert the world. You know, obviously, we've done kind of the big conquests, and we've watched Persia blow out control and whatnot. We've never really done the religion side of things, so this would be interesting to see quite how long it sticks around for. Thank you to the executive producers over on Coffee for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to Devorda, Scott L, The Monk, Christian Blue, Dave Ash, I Stab Cows, Moira, Emily, Alex, Mr. Moma, Sideshow C, Layla, Callum James 3, Ella B, Domgit, Buen Gun, and One of Dads, along with everyone else at the executive producer tiers on Coffee for the final month of Coffee. Thank you guys for your support. And a thank you as well to Ribbit, Panthapel, Athon, Monster, Noises Dungeon, Dancing Lucifer, Conchawabi, Groggy, Ray Karenga, Sanat Lover, Madness, El Nada, Storm Crowd, Pyro Seeker, Ultra Spider 2000, and everyone else over at Coffee as well for making the channel possible in the first place. Thank you guys. See you all tomorrow for more of this crap.